Aw, animals. Hot damn! Ranchers catch beaver herding 150 cows on farm. You've heard of the horse whisperer, right? Now meet the cow whisperer, a beaver out in Saskatchewan, Canada, whom this herd of 150 young heifers appears to be absolutely enthralled by. On April 14th, a farming couple on a ranch out near Regina went to check on their cattle when they stumbled upon a strange phenomenon of sorts. The cattle crowding around a beaver, eyes fixed on his every move and following him as if he were some kind of grand leader. Every time the beaver took a few steps forward, the curious cows were right behind him, but made sure to give their new emperor his space. It's unclear what the beaver was whispering to the cows, given that they live on a beef ranch. Maybe he was trying to lead them to an escape room? Whatever was going on, the ranchers say it was possibly the most Canadian thing they've ever seen happen out there. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Beavers are incredible creatures who happen to star on Tomo News from time to time. Pissed off beaver attacks man in New York. Just outside of Rochester in upstate New York lies the Yurundaquoi River. It's usually a pretty tranquil place for man to get back to nature, but yesterday nature decided to get back at us. Michael Cavanaugh was paddling his boat down the river when he noticed something strange in the air. From out of nowhere, a very angry beaver attacked him, capsizing his boat in the process. The enraged amphibious rodent clawed and bit him, intent on doing serious harm. Cavanaugh's screams were heard by the staff of the boathouse, who then came outside to lend some well-needed assistance. It's not known why exactly the beaver attacked Cavanaugh, but the animals usually strike when they're protecting their young nestled in a nearby den. In any case, Kavanaugh was treated for deep puncture wounds and received a rabies shot. You know, just in case. Those poor beavers. When they're not being trapped for their pelts or displaced by nutrias, they're being harvested for their vanilla-scented Santorum. That's because anal secretions from beavers are used in vanilla-flavored foods. Don't believe us? It's all over the internet. None of the reports we saw explain exactly how their secretions are extracted. If you know how this is done, please tell us in the comments. Take it from Mel Gibson. Elbow deep in beaver is where it's at. You can't fault a man for chasing beaver, but then again, beavers usually don't bite back. The 60-year-old Belarusian man did what most men would do when they see one out in the open. He took a picture. Little did he know it would be his last. He got close, but the hairy creature wasn't having it. He pinned the man down and ravaged his thighs, leaving two fatal bites in the process. His friends ran off to find help, but the bleeding was too much for the man. He died before paramedics arrived. Beavers are usually non-violent, but attacks have happened in the past. A woman recently lost her thumb to one. Perhaps next time, she'll learn to give a damn. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. MIT develops beaver-inspired material for wetsuits to keep surfers warm. A team of researchers led by a graduate student at MIT were inspired by semi-aquatic mammals to develop an insulating material that could lead to a new kind of wetsuit. The researchers looked to nature for ways to design a wetsuit for surfers that was warmer but also lighter and thinner. The researchers focused on beavers and otters, which, like humans, lack the blubber that keep aquatic mammals like whales warm. The team fabricated fur-like pelts to study how beavers and sea otters stay warm while diving underwater. During the study, the team submerged the pelts in silicone oil to observe the formation of air pockets. They discovered that the fabricated pelts with denser fur that were plunged into water at higher speeds generally retained a thicker layer of air within their fur. The findings could one day be used to design furry wetsuits that could help keep humans warm in the water.